contact insecticides, granulars, dusts, and liquids. Contact insecticides kill on contact. These include either granular products, dusts, or mound drenches. Always follow the label directions for rate and application as these vary between different products. There are many different contact insecticides for the red imported fire ant. These are some examples. The active ingredient acephate, found as the trade name orthoorthine fire ant killer. This is an individual mound treatment. Bifenthrin, found as orthomax fire ant killer broadcast granules or talstar. These can be broadcast or used as an individual mound treatment. Carbaryl, seven bug killer concentrate as an individual mound treatment. Cyfluthrin, which is Bayer Advanced Lawn Fire Ant Killer, used as an individual mound treatment. Deltamethrin, found as Bengal Ultra Dust Two Times Fire Ant Killer, or High Yield Imported Fire Ant Control Granules, used as individual mound treatments. Fipronil, Over and Out Fire Ant Killer Granules, or Chipco Top Choice. Fipronil is broadcast. Lambda Cyhalothrin, found as spectricide fire ant killer granules, used as individual mound treatments or broadcast. Natural pyrethrins and diatomaceous earth, found as organic one fire ant killer, used as an individual mound treatment. Permethrin, found as taro outdoor ant killer, or high yield indoor outdoor broadcast insecticide. And 17 other products, used as individual mound treatments. Or spinosad, found as fertilome borer, bagworm, leaf miner, and tent caterpillar spray. These are individual mound treatments and are OMRI certified or organic certified. Here are some examples of insecticide granules with the active ingredients bifenthrin, fipronil, and lambda cyhalothrin. There are many different insecticide dusts, wettable powders, and liquids. These are dusted on individual mounds or drenched on individual mounds. There are many advantages to using contact insecticides. Granules can be broadcast. They are fast and effective, but they may be short term. They provide a barrier-like protection and residual effects in some products. They can be used for broadcast and spot treatments. They can be used in mound treatments which are cost effective and less harmful to non-target organisms because you are only treating the mounds. There are also some disadvantages to using contact insecticides. You may not quite reach the queen. The workers are killed on contact and may not make it down to the queen. They are more expensive to treat in large areas. Toxicity is much higher than baits when using contact insecticides. They are less target specific and you have a higher risk of your non-target organisms dying from using these products. Rapid reinfestation is much more likely when using contact insecticides. And there is the risk of environmental contamination if they are not properly applied. Applying chemicals to your home or yard always follow the label instructions. Tactics for best management combination treatments. There are different approaches to different situations. There is the two-step method, three-step method, long residual broadcast treatment, management in public areas, homes and buildings, vegetable gardens, and neighborhood management. We will discuss each one. The two-step method for treating lawns. The two-step method is recommended for moderate to large areas of turf. It is not recommended for lightly infested areas. The goal of the two-step method is to reduce fire ant problems while minimizing the need to treat individual mounds. Step one of the two-step method is to use a broadcast bait product in the spring and or the fall. Step two is to treat nuisance mounds as necessary after the broadcast bait treatment. Start scouting three to days after you place out the bait treatment. Individual mound treatments only are best for small areas where infestations are fairly light. They are not recommended for heavily infested areas. You selectively control fire ants when using individual mound treatments. 
This requires much more labor and more monitoring. The method in individual mound treatments is to individually treat undesirable ant mounds using a suitable contact or bait product of your choice. You continue to treat unwanted mounds as they appear. The three-step method for treating structures involves Step 1. A barrier treatment. Apply a band of granular or liquid insecticide to the perimeter of the structure. Step 2 is to broadcast bait. Use a broadcast bait to lawn surrounding the structure outside the perimeter barrier. And step three is an individual mound treatment. Wait three days to allow the bait to be distributed. Then use a drench or dust to treat nuisance or hazardous colonies. The three-step method is a good method to use when treating schools, nursing homes, or other structures. Long residual broadcast treatment is long-lasting but much more expensive. This involves broadcasting a residual product such as fipronil or bifenthrin. Fipronil is applied once per year. Bifenthrin is applied two to three times per year. It is very costly with an expense of $180 to $500 per acre per year. Fipronil takes longer to control fire ants. However, you will have 80% control of fire ants within four weeks. Maximum control by six weeks. Management in public areas such as athletic fields, parks, golf courses, and camping sites. First, map out fire ant infestations in the area. In high priority areas, use broadcast bait products. Use individual mound treatments three to five days after bait application. Treat problem mounds in the highest priority areas with fast-acting insecticides. In low priority areas, use perimeter treatments or no treatment may be sufficient. Perimeter treatments may also be necessary if reinfestation occurs quickly. This is a very flexible method now being used by commercial landscape managers. Around homes and buildings, fire ant prevention is key. If fire ants are found indoors, the first step is to remove children and pets from the immediate area. It is imperative to find and remove fire ant food sources. In homes and buildings, find where fire ants are entering. Spray the entry point with an indoor ant control product. Avoid spraying near food or eating utensils. Treat indoor trails with soap, bleach, or ammonia cleaner, such as Windex. This disrupts pheromone trails. Do not use baits indoors. Once you have taken these steps indoors, you must now find the colony outside. Treat the colony with a product registered for outdoor use. Call a professional to eliminate the colonies inside the house and check for bridges, which can be air conditioner lines, electrical and phone conduits, and overhanging tree limbs, or other areas where fire ants have formed a bridge to enter the indoors. In vegetable gardens, you are very limited with products to use. Extinguish bait works within 8 to 12 weeks and is labeled for use inside vegetable gardens. Green light fire ant control with conserve bait also works within 2 to 4 weeks and can be used inside a vegetable garden. This product contains the active ingredient spinosad, which is considered organic. Other baits can be applied around vegetable gardens, but not in the garden. Approved contact insecticides can also be used as individual mound treatments inside the garden. Make sure you read the label for a product that can be used in vegetable gardens when using for controlling fire ants. Community-wide fire ant management programs are cooperative efforts within a neighborhood that can help save money and effort when controlling fire ants. Community-wide fire ant management programs lengthen the time between reinfestation. Education is key with these programs and homeowners must cooperate with one another in treating the neighborhood at the same time. Many times homeowner associations now contract with a commercial applicator to treat the neighborhood. There are statewide efforts currently in progress to control imported fire ants. 
These include biological control methods, in which researchers in many states are conducting controlled studies by releasing and monitoring natural enemies of fire ants. Fire ant densities in the United States are over five times higher than in their native South America. In South America, fire ants have 30 plus natural enemies. Self-sustaining biological control agents could provide long-term suppression of fire ant populations. Two self-sustaining biological control agents for fire ants. These cannot be used by individual homeowners. The forward fly is a natural enemy that has become established in the United States through controlled experiments and releases. Forward flies lay an egg in the thorax of the fire ant. The larva hatches from the egg and migrates to the head. Inside the head, the larva eats the inside of the fire ant. The ant's head falls off, giving it the common name, the forward fly, decapitating fly. Forward flies greatly decrease foraging by fire ants. Therefore, they are not out in the yard as abundantly as they would be when forward flies are not active. The infectious protozoa, thanks to the imported fire ant research and management plan, Texas A&M University system, for the use of many of the images seen in this presentation. Portions of this presentation were made possible by a grant from the Southern Region Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Professional Development Program. Contributors to this presentation include Kathy Flanders, Molly Keck, CNM Dries.